All right. So gonna try out a new camera system here and uh, show the setup I have for uh, setting up new blast furnaces. I have covered this one before. The the setup. Um, these pipes are set up in such a way that they're gonna cause a swirl inside the uh, the blast furnace area. This bucket is to be used with uh, regular blow torches, propane, not map gas. Uh, it's not going to be as hot as the other one. With this one, uh, this bucket looks raggedy because it actually used to be a blast furnace, but I knocked all the, uh, the worn out concrete out of it. Uh, I'm reusing it for another one. So, uh, pipe right there is in place taped off right now so you can't see the hole because I don't want the concrete getting in there but the pipe is in place uh, it's duct taped in it's hot glued uh, everything just to make sure it just stays put while I'm uh, pouring concrete uh, concrete just standard concrete from uh, Menards or Home Depot uh, I have actually gone to a length of actually sifting through this with a cat litter scoop to take out the big rocks because I have found that big rocks uh, with the uh, the old blast furnace the, the, the promoted deterioration were seen to so I'm gonna try it with uh, all the big rocks removed just little itty bitty rocks in there now and Starting with my mixing bucket, going to put water in there, and then as I get it mixed up to the right consistency and the right content, I'll start filling up the buckets up to a certain level on the inside so that uh, there's enough insulation level at the bottom for when the bucket or the uh, uh, crucible is in there and the fire is going. Same thing over here. It's about what two, two and a half inches from the bottom is where the hole is, so uh, that should give plenty of uh, uh, layer between the fire and the bottom. All right. 